Hola, hello, ni hao, hi, welcome to eShop Talk. I am Alberto and today we'll be talking about something that is not complicated but may take some time to figure out on your own. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to organize your store so that your customers can easily navigate it, find what they're looking for and improve the shopping experience. Before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell right next to it to never miss one of our new stories. Let's start by going to the homepage view of a Shopify store. On the top left corner, you will find products. Let's click on it. And this will open a list of all the products you already added to your Shopify store. Also on the products, you will find collections. Let's also click on that. Now you have a list of all the collections you already created on a Shopify store. Well, you still didn't create any collections, but here there is a default collection called homepage. We do not need it, we will start from scratch. So let's select it, go to Actions, and delete selected collections. Confirm that you want to delete it, and that's it. This is where you start. Empty Canvas, you have the button Create Collections right in the middle of your screen. Let's click on that. Now you have a few options. Of course, you start by the basic, and the basic is giving it a title. We will call it Rings. You can call it whatever you want. And then on the description, let's add something. Now, let's move on to the collection type. Here you can choose between manual collection or automated collection. Manual collection, you'll create a collection and then add whatever product you want to it. On an automated collection, you can create certain conditions for your collection. We will create one. Let's go to the condition and select product title. Product title contains the words ring. So I will save my collections and see what happens. Let's preview my collection. I will click on the eye right here under the name of the collection, view. And here you go. I have Jupiter's lost ring and another lost ring in my collection. Now that to create an automated type collection, let's check how a manual collection works. To create a manual collection, let's go back to the collections page. Here you see that we already have the collection we just created, rings, with the minimum information about this collection. That is, the product conditions are product title contains rings. Now let's create a new collection by clicking here, create new collection. Let's start by giving it a title. This time, we will script the description and go straight to the collection type. Here, instead of automated, we will select manual. That's it. And now we'll just click save right here. The collection was saved. Now, what we want to do is select all products on the product tab. And this will bring you back to the list of all products that you already added to your store. Let's select the products that you want to add to this new inspirational collection. So I want silver and linen clouds and customers is resistible magnets. Once you selected the products, let's select more actions here on top and add to collections. Right away, you will see all the collections that are available. For us, it's only inspirational because that's the only manual collection. Let's select it and click save. That's it. Your products are added to your new collection. Now let's see how that collection looks. Let's click Inspirational. There is no product conditions. Again, View on the eye. And voila, you have these two products added to your collection Inspirational. If you have any questions or any thoughts about this episode so far, don't hesitate to write on the comments below. Now, what we want is to make this collection available to your customers in your store. And for that, we will create a new page for them. So let's go to Online Store. It's the bottom of the menu on the left side. Click on Themes right under Online Store. And you have here your current theme. Let's customize it. Once you select the customization of your theme, let's go to the left side and say Add Section. What we want is a new collection list collection list, you already have it here. And that's it, you have a title. We will not change the title for now. We will decide that we only want two collections per row and we will delete the last collection because we do not need it. 
And now we will add a collection. Let's select a collection that goes on this page. The first one will be inspirational. Select on the bottom. And that's it. First collection is selected. Let's select the second collection. Do exactly the same thing. Select collection. And now rings. Click select on the bottom left. And that's it. You added a page with two collections. Let's save it now on the top right corner. Click save and voila. Now that you added a page with the collections to your store, let's understand how we can order and organize the products inside those collections. To order your products, let's go back to the collection page. Go on products, collections. Let's click on a collection, rings. Let's scroll down until you see products. Here you can also see the way that they are sorted. Right now they are sorted by best selling. If you click on it, you can see the other options. Product title A to Z, highest price, etc. What we will pick is manually. The last option. Click on that. And now you can simply adjust and select the order that you want. We only have two items here, but this works just as well with as many as you have. Once you're done, your collection will be automatically updated and your customers can browse through your collections the way that you intended to. And there you go. You have all the information you need to run a nice and well-organized shop. Feel free to watch this video again and as many times as necessary. And if you found it useful, please show us your love and appreciation by clicking that like button and subscribing to the eShop Talk channel. I am Alberto and until next time, keep your sales up.